Okay, I'll say it again. Some food companies are fooling us. Read some labels and you'd think, oh, this doesn't have that much fat or calories. But the count's based on serving size and what some companies call one serving. It's ridiculous. For example, would you expect to share something called your personal pizza with someone else? No, but the company says this serves two. We asked some pizza men about sharing one of these your personal pizzas. I don't think you could share this with anybody. <laughs> they throw it back to my face. Most people we talked to weren't convinced. A snack, at best. A snack. Where's the rest of it? My cat could eat that. Of course, why should we care what a label says is a serving size? Well, lots of us rely on labels to count calories, carbs, and salt, and you may not realize that the amounts shown are not per package, but per serving. And what some call a serving is small. Consider the hungry man, chicken pot pie. Is this for one person? Would a hungry man eat one of these? I could eat that and some. <laughs> That's like a little snack on the side. Yet the label says two servings per pie. They say this is for two people. No way. <laughs> you wouldn't share this with a friend? No. This blueberry muffin is a calorie bomb, 645 calories. But the label says just 215 because they claim people will eat just a third of a muffin. No way, say these people. No. How many servings is this? If you're hungry, you need a few of them. <laughs> Probably not healthy, they but... They say this is for three people, three servings. What? How small are these people? <laughs> Aren't there any rules about serving sizes? Well, yes. In the early 90s, government and its wisdom solved this problem. They summoned in the food industry and had them test, weigh, and measure 139 different types of food. And then the government determined the amount of each we would customarily eat. The Tower of Babel in food labels has come down. So it's the government's mandates that now allow food companies to say, this serves three. Would three of you divide this up? No. no. Why do you think they're doing this? It's to make more money and it's yeah. to make people think that they're eating healthier than they are. Right. How many of these would you eat if you knew each was 645 calories? None of the food companies would talk to us about this, which is too bad, because I'd love to know how this olive company came up with its serving size. One and a half olives. Would you ever eat one and a half olives? What, are you going to throw away half of it? You'd have to throw away some of these pickles, too. What's the serving size of the pickle? Three or four of them. Three quarters of a spear is the serving size. Oh, my oh, God. God. It's nothing to see people eat three or four pickles at a time. Tim Baker owns this pickle shop. They take a pickle and it's cut into quarters. He explains that a spear is a quarter of a whole pickle. So when you eat three quarters of a spear, you only get three quarters of a quarter of a pickle. What are you supposed to do? Eat three quarters and throw the other quarter away? Nutritionist Delia Hamill has tried to clear up questions about misleading labels in Good Housekeeping magazine. Yes. This is important, she says, because people worried about their health get confused. All of the information on the label is based on that serving size. So unless they're taking their calculator with them to the grocery store... Which nobody does, but now at least you know what to look for. And you know that when it comes to the posted serving sizes, it's time to say... Give me a break! <laughs>